I'm grateful. Yamif Thompson finds joy in the little things on this blazing Thursday. So it's definitely hot. <laughs> like having a bench to sit on and a cover to block out the sun as she waits for the GRTC pulse at Willow Lawn. But Thompson considers herself lucky because not all bus stops have these basic accommodations. I feel like that's a really big concern for the community because a lot of people, the elderly folks and stuff, would like to sit down and stuff like that with um, the bus stop. In fact, only 5% of GRTC's 1,600 stops have shelter and just 21% have seating. I feel like it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. A lot of people want answers and want to know why the bus benches are not there. You see quite a bit of people just out here sitting on the ground or wherever they can. Tim Sam works right next to a West Broad Street stop in Henrico, another one that has no accommodations. It stinks. I mean, it would be better to be a little bit more comfortable in 100 de degree heat. And take a look here. CBS 6 snapped this photo of a bus stop outside of a vacant Hardee's. You can see riders having to sit on shopping carts and leaning up against a trash can and a pole. We have been working with Henrico County to hopefully eventually do improvements in there. Adrian Torres with GRTC recognizes this location as concerning, but some barriers stand in the way. The sidewalk isn't big enough for a bench, and there's uncertainty about what the property will become. So right now, there's no timeline for installing amenities. There are risks and challenges um, with this whole process of even being successful. Torres says that kind of red tape exists with every project. Installing resources requires a lengthy approval process, often involving coordination with jurisdictions, private owners, urban design committees, and even state entities like VDOT. Just to give some background on that, the current shelter style that we have approved now within the counties just got VDOT approval and it took us two and a half years to get there. But she hopes this plan holds the key to change. Attainably, over the next five years, GRTC wants at least 50% of all stops to have a bench or a covering. Scores for usage and equity will drive which ones take priority. The complete project comes with a price tag of $11 million. So will GRTC have enough money to pull it off? Still coordinating on the funds. All in an effort to dignify folks like Thompson, who rely on public transit every day. We need to make our riders as comfortable as possible. And right now, that five-year proposal still needs approval from the GRTC Board of Directors. Torres says she hopes that'll happen next month. Working for you in Henrico, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.